This mass is offered for these intentions, for the speedy recovery of Gracie Das and Father Simplicius Case, for the souls of Rita Segal, Paul Barbosa, Teresa Barbosa, and for all the souls. Together with these intentions, let us play, place before the Lord all our intentions that we have in our minds. Let us pray that the good law blesses according to the plan that he has for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, the liturgy of today reminds each one of us to produce fruits, spiritual fruits for the kingdom of God. If the word of God is the foundation of our Christian life, we can produce fruits in abundance. Is the word of God our Christian foundation? Sometimes we listen to what the world says to us rather than what God says to us. Let us ask God for the times we have listened to the voice of the world in our hearts, for the times we have gone astray from the presence of God and from the word that God teaches us. Let us be sorry and ask God's mercy and pardon that we may celebrate this holy Eucharistic mystery in a worthy manner. I confess to Almighty God and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, bless Mary, the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Thank you. 
and praise be to the Son and by His Spirit love in us we know that God is one Glory to God on high Peace to all good wills Honor and praise Him all of our days and love Let us pray. O God, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path. Give all who for the faith they profess are accounted Christians the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ and to strive after all that it does honor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, you are Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, as the rain and the snow come down from the heavens and do not return without watering the earth, making it yield and giving growth to provide seed for the sower and bread for the eating, so the word that goes forth from my mouth does not return to me empty without carrying out my will and succeeding in what it was sent to do. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. Some seed fell into rich soil and produced its crop. Some seed fell into rich soil and produced its crop. You care for the earth, give it water, you fill it with riches. Your river in heaven brims over to provide its grain. Some seed fell into rich soil and produced its crop. And thus you provide for the earth, you drenched its shadows, you level it, soften it with shards, you bless its growth. Some seed fell into rich soil and produced its crop. You crown the ear with your goodness. Abundance flows in your steps. In the pastures of the wilderness it flows. Some seed fell into rich soil and produced its crop. The hills are girded with joy, the meadows covered with flocks. The valleys are decked with wheat. They shout for joy, yes, they sing. Some seed fell into rich soil and produced its crop. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. I think that what we suffer in this life can never be compared to the glory, as yet unrevealed, which is waiting for us. The whole creation is eagerly waiting for God to reveal his sons. It is not for any fault on the part of creation that it was made unable to attain its purpose. It was made so by God, but creation still retains the hope of being freed. Like us, from its slavery to decadence, 
to enjoy the same freedom and glory as the children of God. From the beginning till now, the entire creation, as we know, has been groaning in one great act of giving birth. And not only creation, but all of us who possess the first fruit of the Spirit. We too groan inwardly as we wait for our bodies to be set free. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please rise for the gospel acclamation. Your servant is listening. You have the message of eternal life. reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. To you, o Jesus left the house and sat by the lakeside, but such crowds gathered round him that he got into a boat and sat there. The people all stood in the beach, and he told them many things in parables. He said, Imagine a sower going out to sow. As he sowed, some seeds fell on the edge of the path, and the birds came and ate them up. Others fell on patches of rock, where they found little soil and sprang up straight away. But there was no depth of earth. But as soon as the sun came up, they were scorched, and not having any roots, they withered away. Others fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked them. Others fell on rich soil and produced their crop, some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. Listen, anyone who has ears. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, the readings of today are about the transforming power and it reminds each one of us to listen more intently and to to be open and to be shaped by the transforming of the Word of God to produce fruits in th hundred, sixty and thirty-fold. The parable of the sower reminds each one of us that man's reception of the Word of God is conditioned by is determined by the condition of his heart. How fertile my heart to produce fruits for the Lord. The, so, the parable of the sower teaches us that the word of God is the soil, seed, and the word of God is the soil. And our hearts and minds are the soil. And so it reminds each one of us to prepare a soil which is fertile so that the word of God can germinate, yield and grow in our hearts. How to produce the fruits for the kingdom of God? First and foremost, we need to prepare a fertile soil and be prepared for the word of God. 
secondly we need to open to the word of god in our lives instead of closing it with pride prejudice fear and all that is i'm becoming of a christian we need to remove from our hearts the weeds that blocks us that hinder us in experiencing the true message that god gives in our lives and thirdly we should not allow ourselves the trials and tribulation that come on our way the pleasures and happiness that this world gives by going astray from the presence of god by producing fruits for the lord how can i how can i produce fruits for the lord in my life we are all called to be farmers in the life of others we are all farmers in the sense we all plant and uh, sow seeds in the lives of others for example a good parent sows the seeds of bright future to their children a teacher sows the seed of knowledge and understanding to the student a counselor seed uh, sows the seeds of positivity and optimism a doctor sows the seeds of good health and well-being sowing seed has meaning only when it it produces fruits in the same way we as christians are called to produce fruits then our christian life has meaning in our life even god expects fruits from our lives what are the fruits that as a religious as a christian as a priest are supposed to produce in our christian life we read in the God, in the letter to the galatians chapter 5 verse 22 st paul says the fruits of the spirit are love peace joy patience goodness and gentleness and self control think for a while if we all produce fruits 100% all the time how beautiful our world would have been we would have heaven on earth jesus had a plan for this world where we form a society where all the fruits of the spirit are produced in our lives but that society which was envisioned by jesus is not come into existence because we do not produce fruits all the times in our lives just because we do not listen to what the word of god says to us rather we listen to what the world says to us we go after the things that gives us momentary satisfaction in our lives jesus says in the gospel of matthew seek for the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all things will be added unto you the core message of today's gospel is the kingdom of god do you realize that the word of god has uh, the power to transform your life and experience its effect in your lives the kingdom of god is nothing but the society of men and women where we form a society where all the fruits of the spirit are uh, practiced in our life that is the vision that jesus had in his mind that is what jesus says when he taught his disciples may your kingdom come may your will be done on earth as it is in heaven as we take part in this holy eucharistic mystery let us ask god to fill us with all the fruits and spirits that we may produce fruits for the glory of the kingdom of god in 30 as 60 and underfold amen
Let us stand and profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, for all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten non made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life of the world to come. Amen. In order, to, in order for a seed to produce fruit, it has to be sown in good soil. Wherever else the seed may fall, such as long as the path, rocky ground, or among thorns, it cannot sprout and take root. That we may offer ourselves as fertile soil for the word of God to grow and produce fruit. Let us pray, saying, Lord, May your word grow in us. Lord, may your word grow in us. For the Pope, the bishops, the clergy, and the religious, that as good and faithful servant, that may prepare the people to receive the word of God and produce fruits. Our response, Lord, Lord may, may your word grow, grow in us. us. That the word of God enshrined in the scriptures may become the primary tool for prayer and meditation for all Catholic faithfuls. Let us pray. Lord, Lord may, may your word grow, grow in us. us. That the study of the scripture may be encouraged in every parish and devotional reading of it, such as the lec Lectio Divina, may help to increase the knowledge of God's word. We pray. Lord, may your word grow in us. For farmers all over, especially the farmers of our country, who toil in their field day after day, that in their effort to produce food, for all may be richly blessed by the Lord. We pray. Lord, may your word grow in us. For all of us present in this Eucharistic assembly, that enlightened by the word of God, we may belong to that category of people who, being receptive to the word of God, may produce plenty of fruit. We pray. Lord, Lord may your word grow, grow in us. us. Let us now pause to pray for our personal and community needs. We pray. Lord, Lord, may, may your word grow, grow in us. God our Father, we thank you for the gift of your Son, who through the parable of the sower has given us an opportunity to be industrious and fruit-bearing people. Give us a grace that cooperating with your Son, we may prove ourselves worthy to be his disciples. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Look upon the offerings of the church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you, and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may grow ever greater holiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For out of compassion for the waywardness that he saws, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin, by the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered will willingly into his passion, he took bread giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. Mm -hmm. 
the mystery of faith. Therefore, as to celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Anil our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, St. Dominic, St. Catherine, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-aced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who set your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit, never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow through Christ our Lord. Announcement, those who wish to make sacramental confession and receive Holy Communion may call up any of the priests and come to receive uh, Holy Communion and make confession. You can personally contact any of the priests. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Remember, O most, most gracious Virgin Mary, Mary that never was it known that anyone who fled your, your protection, protection implored your help also the intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee. O Virgin of virgins, my mother, to you I come. Before you I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in your mercy hear and answer me. Amen. Let us remember and pray for all the corona-afflicted people the doctors, nurses, and all the officials who are helping them to come out from, the, from their struggles and problems. Our Father, who art Lord, in heaven, heaven. Lord, be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day of daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the head. On the third day he rose again. He, will, he ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, woe without, and amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.